arch companies to social media. Joe Madden of the Cubs talked about this yesterday. Let's play the tape. I really hope that you all understand that social media doesn't count at all. Uh, Twitter doesn't count at all. Um, and really, as sports writers, you should do a better job than relying on Twitter to write a story. Yeah, and that's what the Kaepernick question came from. No NFL GM is thinking about, especially Green Bay, about Colin Kaepernick. That is a Twitter question. Much of the media is driven by Twitter, and I, I got to give Joe Madden a lot of credit for recognizing this and pointing it out. You know, again, I, it's very popular to celebrate Greg Popovich and his rants on President okay, Trump. Yeah, you get uh, no pushback on social media if you champion that. Yeah, and here is Joe Madden. I think really staying in his lane in terms of he's reducing it down to sports, and he's looking at how Twitter is influencing sports writing, and he's smart enough to see that this is inappropriate. It's why we get off on tangents about things that really don't matter, and we get scared of things that, that really don't matter. Uh, so I, I, Joe Madden's got some got some new respect for me. Guy's pretty smart. Yesterday you put the tinfoil hat on, Mr. <laughs> Whitlock, it's much to my chagrin. What um, was that all about? I saw that. Well, Christine, years ago, so Christine, you've heard about this, but you, you and I lived this when Patrick Ewing went number one to the Knicks. He was a great college oh, player. Right. The frozen envelope. Yeah. When they so, stole it from my yes, paces. Yes. They, yes. They didn't steal you it. You believe in the frozen envelope? Hell yes. Oh, come on. Hell yes. Whitlock. He, he was supposed to go to the paces. You know when something's frozen, it gets him. sticky. If it was...